Hi everyone! I've been experimenting with growing hydroponic microgreens instead of using soil. I saw someone on YouTube grow microgreens on a window screen and I thought that is pretty neat but I have no idea if the screen material is food safe. I tried researching it and came up empty so if anyone out there knows if the screen material is safe please let me know with a source so I can verify it for myself. I was looking for something that I knew was food safe and then it hit me. How about growing on cheesecloth? That is definitely rated food safe. So I bought some cheesecloth. This is 100% unbleached cotton and it's made specifically for food preparation so it better be food safe. And I got these plastic food containers rated BPA free and food safe as well. So this will be my reservoir for the water. And I'm going to set up two one as a control with just water and one with hydroponic nutrients. Now I just have to figure out how to use the lid to hold up the cheesecloth above the water. I have to think about that a bit more but in the meantime let me gather everything I'm going to need. I have my cheesecloth, I have my containers, I have seeds, these are broccoli seeds, and I have my trusty spice shaker to shake out the seeds evenly. I have a tablespoon to measure out the seeds and I have a teaspoon to measure out the hydroponic nutrients. I will measure out two teaspoons of the Grow Big formula into a gallon of water and that will be my hydroponic solution. I have two containers here. One will be the control which is plain water and the other will contain hydroponic solution. Okay so I decided to cut out the middle of the lid to grow the microgreens on the cheesecloth and this way the lid will still snap onto the food container to hold up the cheesecloth. At least that's what I think will happen. So I sawed all the way around and then tried to clean up the edges with a scissor and I didn't do such a good job but it's good enough. And then I cut out the other lid and I did a neater job with that one. Now I have to figure out how this cheesecloth is going to stay on top of the water. I cut out a piece of the cheesecloth and laid it on top of the food container and then the lid on top of that to hold it in place. It seems sturdy but just to be sure I put a rubber band around the cheesecloth to hold it in place. Now the lid goes on and it definitely feels much sturdier. Now for the second container the same thing. The piece of cheesecloth is held onto the container with a rubber band and then the lid holds it all in place. So now I have two containers ready to go. I fill one container with the hydroponic solution, that's the Grow Big from Fox Farms, and the other container I fill with plain filtered water. Here you can see the two containers side by side with labels so I know which one is which. The cheesecloth is resting on the water so it should stay wet to feed the microgreens as they grow. Now you might be wondering what's the point of this experiment? Well, first I wanted to see how well the cheesecloth would do as a medium for seeds. And then second, I wanted to see how much of a difference nutrients really make at this stage of a plant's life cycle. I can't tell you how often I hear that microgreens do not need any nutrients to grow. That all the nutrients the plant needs are contained in the seed. I've seen that many times in the comment sections on YouTube as well as on Reddit. I've grown microgreens on paper towels and in soil and they always grow better in soil. So I want to have a fair test and grow the microgreens on the same medium to see how important the nutrients are at the microgreen stage. And if the nutrients do make a difference at this stage of growth, is it a significant difference or a minor difference? So on with the experiment. I measure out one tablespoon of broccoli seeds into my shaker and then shake it out evenly over one container and then do the same for the other container. Once I have the seeds spread out evenly over the two containers, I give them a mist of water and then cover them up. I like to keep my seeds in the dark for the first four to five days until they start developing leaves and then I expose them to light. So now we have to wait. Here it is the next day and I just want to have a quick look, nothing much happening. I give the seeds a spray of water and then cover them up again. Now it's day two and I don't see much of a difference between the two containers. Maybe the plain water has an edge over the nutrient solution but I'm not sure. So I give them another mist of water and cover them up again. 
All right, let's fast forward to day five and have a look. These are ready to leave uncovered at this point. Let's turn on a light above them. Okay, we have the light on. This is a fluorescent bulb, 6500 Kelvin color temperature. I picked it up from Home Depot. So that's it for day five. You can see side by side the two containers look very similar. I don't see much of a difference between the microgreens growing in water and the microgreens growing in the hydroponic solution at this point. Let's fast forward to day seven and now you can see a big difference between the microgreens growing in plain water and the ones growing in the nutrient solution. The ones in plain water don't seem to be doing too well at all. I think the cheesecloth is not getting water from underneath and the microgreens look like they are drying out in spite of me misting them every day. The ones in the nutrient solution look much better. They are healthy and growing nicely, but I'm not sure if it's because of the nutrient solution or because the cheesecloth was making better contact with the water than the other tray. So I'm going to have to run this experiment one more time just to be sure. But before I do, I can harvest this tray and eat it. It's day 10 now and it's ready for harvest. Okay, so I'm going to do another side-by-side -side experiment. But before I do that, let's get the cheesecloth off the tray. And you can see underneath the roots have gone through the cheesecloth and were able to go down into the water to soak up the nutrients. This didn't happen on the other tray. The plants never developed roots long enough to get to the water and so it dried out and died. Here you can see a nice harvest from the tray with the nutrients. All right, now let's try this a different way. This time I'm going to set the cheesecloth on the bottom of the tray instead of suspending it above the tray. And I will water one with plain water, the control, and water the other tray with the hydroponic solution. And let's see what happens this time. So I put four layers of cheesecloth at the bottom of the tray. I cut it down to fit it better and then I cut cheesecloth for the other tray. I also prepared two spray bottles, one with regular filtered water and one with the Grow Big hydroponic solution. I saturated one tray with the water and one tray with the hydroponic solution and spread the same amount of seeds on the cheesecloth in each container. They both got a final spray of water and then I covered them both up and said goodnight. Here it is the next day and as before, both the control tray and the hydroponic tray look the same. Now it's day two. The tray on the left is watered with plain water, the one on the right with the hydroponic solution, and I still don't see much of a difference. Moving on to day five, I uncovered these yesterday and they still look about the same to me. I think it's hard to tell, so stay with me. The ultimate outcome might surprise you. Now we're at day eight and I still don't see a difference between the two. This is interesting. Now we're at day 10 and I'm finally starting to see a difference between the two trays. A small difference, but the one on the right with the hydroponic solution is a little taller and fuller than the one on the left with just plain water, which is definitely a little shorter, but not bad for not having any nutrients and just plain water. Let's take a look at this from another angle here side by side on the table. You can see the tray with the Grow Big Solution is just a tad bit taller. I was surprised at how well the cheesecloth worked. From this angle you can see that the leaves on the right are a bit fuller than the leaves on the left. So there is definitely a difference between the two trays. It's not a huge difference, but there is a difference. Now to harvest these I just take the cheesecloth out of the tray and then I can easily cut these with a scissor or a knife. I always wash my microgreens and spin them dry with a salad spinner before storing them in the refrigerator. The cheesecloth turned out to be a great medium to grow on and it's so much cleaner than soil. So now it's your turn to try growing microgreens. They are so quick and easy to grow and add so much flavor and nutrition to your meals. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate your support and thank you for watching. Bye.